Chapter 4, Lesson 8, Equivalent Ratios and Graphs. Our learning objective is that you will use a graph to represent equivalent ratios. Unlock the problem. A car travels at a rate of 50 miles per hour. Use equivalent ratios to graph the distance the car travels over time. Graph time on the x-axis and distance on the y-axis. What words in the problem tell the unit rate? The unit rate is told right here when it says 50 miles per hour. So it's telling it's a unit rate because it's comparing it to one hour. So we're going to look at this problem. And step one is to write and graph equivalent ratios. So we're going to use the unit rate to write equivalent ratios. So we know that there's 50 miles in one hour. So that's our unit rate. Then we're going to write an equivalent ratio. So if we take 50 times 2, it's going to be 100. And then 1 times 2 is 2. Okay, and we're going to complete the table of equivalent ratios over here as well. So we know 50 miles for one hour. So we know it's 100 miles for two hours. We're going up by 1 each time, so it's going to be 3 and 4. So 50 times 3 is 150. 50 times 4 is 200. 50 times 5 is going to be 250. So this we've already done. This we've been doing um, the last couple days. But now we're going to use the step 2, which is a little bit new. And it's going to use an ordered pair to represent each ratio in the table. So we're going to write them as coordinates. So we're going to let the x coordinate represent time and hours, and the y coordinate represent distance and miles. So all we're going to do here is this is going to be x and this is going to be y, or this is going to be x and this is going to be y. So we're just going to write these now as ordered pairs. We're going to take them from the table and put them in x, y. So here, for the unit rate, x is 1, y is 50. 2, x is 2, y is 100. x is 3, y is 150. x is 4, y is 200. x is 5, y is 250. So you're just rewriting the numbers that you've already computed as ordered pairs. Okay, so remember, the first number in an ordered pair is the x-coordinate. The second number is the y-coordinate. Okay, now we're going to look down here at step three. Step three says to use the ordered pairs to graph the car's distance over time. So you got to think the graph represents the same relationships as the unit rate. So for every one hour the car travels, the distance should increase by 50 if we're doing it correct. So 1 is 50. We're going to go right 2, up 100. Right 3, up 150. Right 4, up 200. Right 5, up 250. So if this continues to increase, increase at the same rate, then 6 would be 300, 7, 350, 8, 400. So that would be what that graph looks like. All right, let's look at this next example. It says, during a heavy rainstorm, the waters of the Blue River rose at a steady rate for 8 hours. The graph shows the river's increase in height over time. Use the graph to complete the table of equivalent ratios. How many inches did the river rise in eight hours? Okay, so we're going to think. On the graph, the x-coordinate represents time in what? Well, we see up here hours. So that must mean that it represents time in hours. And the y-coordinates represent the river's increase in height in inches. The ordered pair 1 comma blank, which is going to be 1, 3, because over here on the graph they go right 1 and up 3. So 1 comma 3 means that after 1 hour the river rose 3 inches. 
So I again I use that graph. I say it went over one and up three. And my computer is a little glitch here. Just ignore all those numbers there. Okay, so down here on the graph they have the time in hours is one hour for three inches. So we're going to do two hours and six inches. Four hours would be 12 inches. Six hours would be 18 inches. Eight hours is 24 inches. So here we have two, six, four, 12, six, 18 on the graph, and eight, 24. Now again, I just graphed the points that, or I just put in the table the points that are up here on this graph. So that's why I kind of jumped numbers because there was no three on here. And there was no five or seven listed. So I just put the points on this graph in that table. So the question was, how many inches did the river rise in eight hours? I look here at the time in hours, which is eight. I see that it rose 24 inches. Describe the pattern you see in the graph and the table. It's number one here. It says look for a pattern. So the, the pattern that we see in the graph and the table is that the increase in the river's height in inches is three times the number in, uh, of, not in, of hours. So for example, it rose 12 inches in four hours. So if we just take the number of hours, which is four times three, we would get the increase, which is 12. And that, ha that works for all of those numbers. Number two says, explain how you know that the ratios in the table are equivalent. So you can write each ratio in the table as the unit rate. For example, if we look at the 24 over 8, if we divide both of those by 8, we would get our unit rate 3 over 1. And that would work for any of the numbers listed up there. And there's other ways that you could explain how you know that those are equivalent, but that's just one example. Okay, and then the last one says, number three, appropriate tools. Matt earned $12 per hour. Explain how you could use equivalent ratios to draw a graph of his earnings over time. Okay, so for that, what you would do is you would just make a table of equivalent ratios. And then you would use the table to write the ordered pair with the X and Y representing time in hours and earnings in dollars. So just exactly what we did, but you just switch out um, increase with earnings pretty much. So again, you'd use the table to write ordered pairs. with the x coordinate representing time in hours and
Sorry about that. My pen glitched. Okay, so the x coordinate representing time and hours and the y coordinate. Representing earnings in dollars. Then, lastly, you graph the ordered pairs. Okay. Again, you just make a table of equivalent ratios, use the table to write ordered pairs with the x-coordinate representing time and hours, and the y-coordinate representing earnings and dollars. Then you just graph the ordered pairs. All right, and just a quick review of what our objective was, is that you will use a graph to represent equivalent ratios. Be sure that if you have any questions over anything, you ask your teacher.